Hello, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful black people. I hope that all is well in your world and this day become a very, very successful day for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful loved ones. My <clears throat> beautiful black brothers and sisters, <clears throat> in times of tribulation, in hard times, in difficult times, when we are in the midst of a COVID-19 pandemic, when 90,000 plus human beings have died as a result of this COVID-19 disease, more than one and one half million of people have tested positive for this COVID-19 disease. The population of this plantation called America is about 4.5% of the world population. Nevertheless, nonetheless, if you look at death, D-E-A-T-H-S from this COVID-19 disease. The American death is 30% of the total death from this COVID-19 disease worldwide. Very soon, one out of three Americans will have died. If this thing isn't stopped, it will arrive at a place where one out of three Americans Americans will have died from this COVID-19 disease. 90% of it could have been stopped had that idiot in the white boy house taken it serious and forgot about the stock market and Wall Street. That economy that he was banking on to get him reelected. He sacrificed All of these lives, more than 90,000 now, because back in January and February, this punk-ass white boy in the white boy house would not plan, implement, produce stuff that we needed to save most of those lives. Instead, he decided in his sick, demented mind that doing something like that would tank that Wall Street stock market and that economy that he had been banking on to get him reelected. It was money over lives my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. And it's so sad that there are 63 million dumbass, stupid white folks out there that are still supporting this white boy in the white boy house when he does not care one iota about their lives, about my life, about your life, all he care about is himself, getting himself reelected and keeping himself in that position, that alternate reality that he has created in his mind that he is the center of. 
in times of tribulation, good character is forged. In times of tribulation, a liar is revealed. In times of tribulation, courage or lack of courage comes to the forefront. In times of tribulation, good character is forged. In times of tribulation, honesty or dishonesty will be displayed. In times of tribulation, one's empathy and compassion will shine. In times of tribulation, one's lack of compassion, lack of empathy will come forth. And regarding Trump, it is there, present, every time his lips are moving, he shows no compassion, no empathy. In times of tribulation, the altruistic will be defined. The non-altruistic has been defined. He's in the white boy house. He has surrounded himself with minions and lackeys that will remain silent when they know that Trump is propagating lies to the American people. In times of tribulation, Christianity will be debunked. In times of tribulation, in times of a COVID-19 pandemic, the so-called Christian right, these white Christian folks, these Christian professing Republicans have been silenced. Therefore, in times of tribulation, Christianity will be debunked. It will be revealed to be just as fake as Trump, just as fake as those lily white Republican politicians. The big white boy in the sky has been debunked. The big white boy in the sky is silent. The big white boy in the sky is not present. 90,000 plus human beings right here on this plantation called America have died as a result of this COVID-19 disease. 36 million human beings are suffering, lack of food, can't pay their rent, can't feed their families, can't feed their children. The economy has been tanked. In times of tribulation, good character is forged. In times of tribulation, no character will be revealed. What we have seen in the past three months is that Trump, his administration, the Republican Party, the Christian right, 
corporate America, Wall Street, is inundated with fake ass, no courage, uncaring, dishonest, no empathy, no compassion, white folks that have us on a path to ruination, to ruination, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. In times of tribulation, good character is forged. In times of tribulation, no courage will be revealed. In times of tribulation, dishonesty will be revealed. In times of tribulation, uncaring, no benevolence will be seen in our so-called leaders. That's what I have on this one. Please go to the thrashaway.libsyn.com. There you will have access to all that I do. Talk to you again on another one real soon.